Episode 159, Anime Podcast, Red Leaf Retrocast. Hickey, you got something to say? Yes. No. No? Oh, come on. Weren't you yelling <laughs> yelling for Claire for hours on end? I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about, J.D. Really, really bearing down the bus. Had, thought we had he would never scream for an anime. <laughs> <laughs> he would never scream for an anime woman. Oh, wait. Absolutely never. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Tori? You got something to say? Just... No, I'm good. Ah, Wait, if we're not doing it, then God damn fuck it. Clear! <laughs> Clear! Oh, there we go. Good, Clear. Congratulations, J.D., you did it. Yeah, all alone. You guys, just leaving me out to dry. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Claymore! No, Corey, this was your JD. pick. It was. Yeah. Why? I mean, like, well, <laughs> this is going to sound really weird, but I like the show. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so that was basically it, and I was I put it on the list when me and Hickey were like making that list of like well known shows that we never talked about. Yeah, so I put when this we, on the when list, we went and then on you that told me the leader stream of post <laughs> post podcast time. Then yeah. they added on, and like, then fucking, on. and then JD said he never watched it, and I was like, well, okay, we gotta fucking rectify that shit. Correct. Uh, my best we friend. Gotta watch is, Claymore. Yeah, my best friend. This is one of his favorite anime of all time. He's been trying to get me to watch it for like fifteen years. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, You're I'll get welcome, around to it. JD's I've, best friend. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's uh, yeah. <laughs> I've watched like episode one four times before this. I was like, yeah, okay, I'll get. Okay, it looks interesting. I'll get to it. Never did. Just never popped up. No, it was on Netflix did. for years and years. Never. It was always in the watch list. Never clicked on it. Now it's on Hulu. And, of course, that's naturally yeah. when I finally watch it. It's for this podcast, and it's on Hulu. <laughs> I hope you send him a message that is like, Man, I finally watched Claymore. That oh, shit. thing is I never dog did tell him. shit. <laughs> I'm going to text him right now, actually. Yeah, remember to tell you, it's just absolutely garbage. I don't know why you subject yourself to this. Uh, should I tell him it's, it's you garbage? You have horrible taste right. in anime. <laughs> All right, I'm texting Your him. Your parents should be Claymore. ashamed. <laughs> No, no, no. Claymore is fun. I like I like Claymore as well. <laughs> it, yeah. it has a nice well, combination of, I, I mean, over the top wackiness and just absolutely <laughs> dumb shit. I love, I love the way the Claymores are fighting when it's just like, oh, we're getting cool fighting animations there, and they just like swing their arm really fast, <laughs> and you're just yeah. there with like cling, 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 cling. It's like ah, all right, that's that. So this she how we fight. she has a special <laughs> ability. Her special ability is move one arm super fast. I was like ah, well, damn. <laughs> it's like okay, Claire. Remember, you have like twenty techniques now. Just you use any of them, and Claire's like ah, oh, shit. I don't know how to fight. <laughs> it's like, what do you fight. mean? Her, you you know, like the you other, have the fucking Teresa thing. Use the Teresa stuff, <laughs> or the the, the other the girl special two. ability. Yeah, uh, yeah. The uh, uh, the synchron the synchronization of Yoma, Biasmo, whatever. It'd be like, oh, you can influence people. Yeah, it's like, oh, for I forget yeah. about that, dude. <laughs> yeah, All right, so that. he's responded. It's good until it's weird. I gotta ask, like, when did he think it got officially weird? <laughs> like, episode one wow. minute minute after. Well, does the, does episode one has an opening? Uh, no, it's it just does, right? it's just it's, no, it's just immediately so, cuts though. to her like walking down the road, and, and it's like you're a claymore, you have silver eyes, and you're a witch, so you're the silver witch. Blah blah blah, yep. and everyone hates you. And no, we'll everyone hates them. you because you're not human. Very, very much uh, the theme of the show. You know what? Before we get into more right. of Claymore, uh, let's talk about quickly other things. Um, I just got over being violently ill yet things? again. And I played yep. a Gun hell... Yeah, right? 
uh, had had a walking pneumonia, as it's called. But now you can't call it walking anymore. That's offensive to people who walk. So they call it slight pneumonia, or some other variants, of, depending on whatever doctor you talk to. But anyways, I'm better now. So to people who walk, all right. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, they can't have walking pneumonia if they can't walk. It'd be weird if they called it, like, True, wheelchair pneumonia. I guess. <laughs> why do you call... Why, I mean, why, don't you just, it? why don't you just call it pneumonia? Why do you have to put... Because you're still functional and out of bed. So what? Well, <laughs> hey, look, man. That was the terminology that was used. Don't blame me. Uh, but anyways, I played a crap ton of Final Fantasy XVI. Uh, very much enjoying that anime story that got lined up there. Uh, slavery's bad. Not sure if you knew that, Tori. Just making sure you knew. No, no, I, I watched uh, Rising of a Shield Hero, so clearly I don't think that... <laughs> I watched that, the other one. <laughs> That's where your mind went. <laughs> what, is, what is the other one? <laughs> the one that the guy doesn't need to get his slave at all, but he's like, ah, you know what? Oh, I want to fuck her anyway. Oh my, yeah, it was, oh god, that show was terrible. But yeah, he's like, oh, I can buy, like, women? Awesome. <laughs> that's what he was saying. That's, yeah. that's the whole show. He's like, do, do I need you? <laughs> no. But I do could. I <laughs> do I want it? Do I want it? No, I, I would love to fuck her, but I don't want to buy her. But yeah, you know, kiss it, ass it, ah. <laughs> like, ah, okay, I see. God, that show was bad. It was so bad. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that show is that show is so dumb. I mean, <laughs> I think it's funny, but like my humor is shit. So, <laughs> well, it's it's it gets to that so bad. It's funny. It's so ridiculous. Yeah. Um, it's like, oh man, I need another party, man. <laughs> Time to buy another slave. It was like, it absolutely don't need you, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, listen, it's the easiest way to recruit for your party. Otherwise, you have to go around and talk to people. And, like, uh, and like, convince time. them talk and make friendships <laughs> with them and all those things. You know, the classics. Yeah, that is true. And he most likely will probably won't fuck them. Oh, got a response. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, okay. shit. It says, uh... He goes, I don't know. It's been years since I saw it. Well, what the fuck? You're useless. <laughs> <laughs> damn, dude. Just like... God damn it. Just like Clear. <laughs> Just like Claire. That's uh, you know what I'm gonna say it right there. Just like Claire. Oraki, Oraki, go go with Oraki. Claire at least can fight. Yeah. Oh, what? Rocky? No. Well, um, yeah. <laughs> Rocky's fight. a little. Rocky's Rocky a little. He wanted to learn sword fighting. What do you mean? Yeah. In, <laughs> instead of instead of the yeah. uh, tropey uh, themed animal or like pet of the show, it's just crying little bitch boy Rocky the whole time. That's what they. Didn't say yeah. Matt, his his whole motivation was to learn how to fight to protect Claire, but I think he pissed his pants more times than he actually holds his sword. Yeah, and I, and I, I appreciate that the anime, the anime goes out of the way to just show him pissing himself. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it definitely does. Like, but holy fuck, could they find a more annoying voice for that guy? I mean, I guess it fits the character, but holy shit. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> even the even the English dub everything was really annoying with Rocky. Oh, you watched it dub? Oh my I god! I sure yeah. did watch yeah. it dub. You think I'm gonna watch Claymore in Japanese? I don't think so. Yeah, I gotta watch. I gotta. I gotta Japanese be the dirty, the dirty Japanese. <laughs> imagine watching your fucking Japanese media in its original native language. Damn it! That's that would, fuck. Why, why would you do that? That's no silly. one does that. That is. Yeah, silly. That's silly. Everyone knows everything superior when you get it in American, not English. But Absolutely. American. On this Veterans Day where we celebrate our veterans, <laughs> everything must be pro-America. Nothing is important in this world unless America says so. And it happens on American soil. Of course. Yes. I see. I'm glad, I'm glad I've uh, educated you guys. On the hey, my team won the Champions of South America, and I'm very happy. See, it it's got America year. in it. You know what doesn't have America in it? Norway. Norway? Yeah, yeah. true. Although, actually, that's technically not true. We do have a little bit of America in Norway, too. Or we had. The American Navy was in Norway for a while. Oh, well. <laughs> that's, only the, that's the best place in uh, Norway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll make the rules. For I you. guess that's how it is. Um, it sounds like you do. <laughs> no, America makes the rules. Also, 
JD, your microphone is staticky like crazy right now. No, okay, hold on. Yep. Pause in the episode. I thought it was. Okay, good catch, Tori. That would have uh, been a terrible episode. <laughs> Anytime I've talked, that was uh, that was <laughs> yeah. great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would. Uh, <laughs> I would have been really annoyed as well. I think to sit there and listen to that the entire time. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to do that. Okay, so where were we? Oh yeah, America's right. <laughs> America's America, America, the greatest it. country of all time. Anyways, anime. <laughs> anime. My team's um, going to the World Cup. Yeah. Woo, the We're World Cup lose. for clubs. Woo. Hell we yeah. are expecting to play against Manchester City, but we're going to probably <laughs> lose to Auckland City. <laughs> <laughs> Same shit. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah. Playing for the money. <laughs> I don't even care. <laughs> well, yeah, God. money's important to survive. Good enough. It is. Anime? You want to talk about anime, GD? Have you watched anything? Oh, yeah. I, I, um, so I tried watching a couple shows from this uh, recent season. Uh, one of them was Undead Unluck. Uh -huh. Yes. It's, um, it's wacky. It's funny. It has its uh, moments. It's a goofy little action show. Monster of the Week kind of deal. Uh, I do like the absurdity premise of, so one of the main characters is a guy who can't die, so he just constantly regenerates broken body parts mm. and all that stuff. So he utilizes that to uh, like fly through the air, he cuts his like shins off, and then he uses his blood as projectiles <laughs> to, to do it. That's he's, one does. Yeah, he's lived so long, he just has an absurd amount of money, so he's just like, oh, I'll just go buy a yacht. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll we'll go travel to Russia and oh yeah, Russia has vodka, so a lot of a lot of good over the top jokes. Um the main girl, I good design to her. She's hot. As as she would be, right? And uh her ability is if you touch her skin rogue style from X Men, uh you get hit with uh a degree of unluckiness. That's her little shtick. So the more she, the more like sexual, I guess the touch is, the more unlucky you become, or who whoever touches her. So the the undead dude, he's he's just always like groping her chest and try like his whole goal is to die, and he thinks if they fuck, mm. uh, he can finally get a level of unlucky where he'll not be able to survive. <laughs> so he's like, now his dude, whole motivation the absolute, is uh, yeah. the, the, the absolute fire. Yeah. The guy who wrote this was just <laughs> like, holy fuck, someone need, needs to give the, this guy a fucking <laughs> Nobel for literature, literature because that is just... Right? It's that is the just best written thing to. ever. <laughs> it makes sense, so it's like, I, I can't complain. So it's actually a very good premise. Yeah, so the the constant, like, his motivation now and, j and joke that he just throws out there is like, oh, I'm going to woo you so hard that you'll want to fuck me. <laughs> So that's what they that's what they're doing. They get a uh they get a seat on like some organization that's like out to kill these people and whatnot, and I ended on an episode where you're introduced to the council that they're now on, and there's like the book of Necronomicon or whatever the fuck that's there, and it gives them uh quests, and if they don't fulfill these quests or a quota, then it will bring some travesty onto the earth, like uh, plagues and all these things. And uh, naturally, undead zombie guy just goes, why are we listening to a fucking book? This is stupid. <laughs> I'm like, I like this guy's writing. It's it's just absurd enough and logical enough that I can get into it. So it's a dumb show that I'm enjoying. And then I started watching the latest season of Spy Family. And it's uh, it's more Spy Family. What more can you say? Yes. You know, we've talked yeah, about the first season and whatnot. If you're not familiar, then go listen to that review and impressions. Uh, it's more of the same. Did you see? Did you see the Mappa stuff? No. Remind me what I was supposed to watch that I did not. There was a sh really bad animated fight in Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, I did watch Jujutsu Kaisen. And, I'm, I'm fully caught up on what's been released so far. And the animator, the animator went on Twitter and apologized for 
you know everything so really? he's like sorry i'm i'm really exhausted they made me do 150 checks per week when the normal is like 25 or something i am i tried my best when made that in a fucking a month but i couldn't i was like oh man <sighs> remember a few months ago that i said mappa shouldn't stop should like just stop stroking their own dick on Chen Man, because one Chen Man wasn't that great. The animation also wasn't that great. Second, it got outshined by Bochi the Rock. Both what's, in what's, animation. What fight or animation are they talking about in Jujutsu Kaisen? I, I think like, it didn't was even episode, notice it. episode ten. I think. Weird. I like. I noticed I wasn't nothing. Paying attention as well. I know that there was like some really bad animation. And a guy's like, oh, I'm being pretty much enslaved here. So I'm trying my best. I was like, man, all that all that talk about you know, treating animators as as human beings from, you know, two months ago. Where's that now, Papa? <laughs> That's why you should mm. stop stroking your own dick. That is like, oh, we gave our animators f four years to animate Chainsaw Man because we believe that they need to be <laughs> uh, treated as human beings and, and with dignity. And you skip a few months later. It's like, ah, oh, yes, we're not making a lot of money. So it's whip time again. No, oh, time for your rations. Oh, I hope you enjoy being chained to your desk. <laughs> So, you know, it's never yeah, good to just stroke. Just always been it's, fi it's fine asshole. to stroke your own dick from time to time, but not that hard. So people are going to, you know, call you out when I mean, something bad happens. They do, but I don't think that's really the problem. The problem here is, like, when it comes to Jujutsu Kaisen, Jujutsu Kaisen has always been a sort of problem when it comes to production. Uh, it's always been on a very short, like, turn uh, turnaround. So it's just kind of now we're in that process where it's like everything is catching up to them. So, uh, yeah, now it's crunch time, and it fucking sucks, and people are going to complain, because that's standard. Uh, yeah, they're not they're not doing what they say, but, you know, that's that's kind of standard in anime, sadly. Like, it is it is how it is. People are people are crunching, they have to get, get stuff done, they don't have the time to get stuff done, but they still expect a certain, certain quality. It's like, it's standard anime stuff, and it fucking, it, it blows, it really does. I do because, feel for him to take but hey, we can we can point man. we can point them up and be like, yo, is that you from the beginning of this year? Being outshined by Bochi the Rock <laughs> and talking about respected animators and now having the guy just have a meltdown or how is yeah. he's crunching so hard? Again, very sad, but you should you should put your mouth on where the money is. If the money is on crunching, then just. You know, just, be honest about it. it. Just do it and be honest. Yeah, try you're to not pretend. doing like Mappa. Mm. Like, so Mappa didn't do any favors to anyone by going on that absolutely rant for four years right. about how Chainsaw Man is the best anime ever created because it is so humane and everything else. It is, it is and not. just to produce <laughs> a kind of mediocre anime. Right. With, with a succession of just people being crunching like hell inside of that place. Which is very sad. It makes yeah. me sad. I mean, it's just kind of where Mappa's at right now, though. Like, that's the same thing. I, I know people are going to fucking hate me for that, but like, the same thing with Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen is just a mid anime. <laughs> I don't know. The action's really kind of cool. Is, I like uh, it. The anime, the, the manga is okay. I like the manga. I like the story. Yeah, the story's find, not like incredibly deep parts. and interesting, but the action and the fight scenes are, I think, very well done. Uh, sometimes. Most of it is still red, like uh, sort of panning still frames. Well, which is how they usually get away with stuff. That's all shown in though. <laughs> it is, but I still think it is pretty bad. So it's like, well, the longer the shown in is, rate, the less uh, they Jujutsu effort Kaisen. they put into the <laughs> animation. Yeah, no, I just don't particularly rate Jujutsu Kaisen. I feel like it's sad because I really like Mappa, but I feel like that's sort of their mo at the moment, and it has been for a few years. Which is like they make very decently produced mid anime and it kind of sucks hmm okay 
Uh, so one big topic, or at least loose thoughts that we can give, because uh, none of us finished Attack on Titan. We all dropped it in some capacity, correct? I haven't dropped I... it. I just haven't kept going. Well, <laughs> I don't think I ever started the anime. Okay. And, well, and like the whole the whole marketing and subdivisions made me so fucking angry that it's like. I, I actually, one of my friends asked me that, like, next, like, last week. He's like, oh, yeah, did Attack on Titan end it? I was like, I, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea. I think it did, but it was, like, the final season, final episode, part three, really the finish. <laughs> You're right. So, like, I don't know if they're joking again, because that was, like, the fourth time they said the thing was going to finish. Or it did finish. But I expect, I think finish, but I expect a no VA or something that they yeah, were just so like, we need to milk is, a little bit more. They did more. finish, they did finish the manga. I do not think they're done with Attack on Titan yet, though. They're no, probably it's way going too to popular. come up with other stuff, whether that's spinoffs or whatnot. Yeah, it is way too popular, but you also gotta remember, people fucking hate that ending. <laughs> so that's something I people wanted to talk about. People are a fucking meltdown. There, there was, there was clearly a, a, uh, vocal meltdown on how dumb the ending was. And then there was also a large sect of people that were extremely happy about just the anime finishing and finishing the manga and <laughs> the journey. But this is what I've come to come to the conclusion of. The people that have been on the journey of Attack on Titan basically since the day it came out. There's people like us that just fucking stopped watching or dropped it or gave up or got annoyed with the releases and how they're doing it. Yeah. Just there for was... the record, right? Yeah. For the, 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 what, the fourth year straight, I think Attack on Titan is dog shit. So I dropped like episode one. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I was, I was the one, like, for example, I was Keep the one the consistency. That, that kept watching it upon its release and then. It reached a point where I thought it. I was like, okay, the story's jumped the shark. I don't like it anymore. I don't. I don't enjoy it for sure. Uh, I think. Well, anyways, but not an Attack on Titan review. So then there's the <laughs> there. Yeah, there's the people that finished it that like just stuck through it, and that's a large amount of people. Uh, I was not expecting to just viscerally hate that ending as in the people that kind of just stuck through the show the whole time. The people that I've seen enjoy the show the most and think it's like an all-timer are the ones that pretty much saw that, uh, quote-unquote, the, sh the show was ending this season here, and over the last few months, they've been binge-watched the whole show in one go, and those are the ones that are enjoying the show a lot more. More or less the people that Attack on Titan brought into anime is the ones that seem to really enjoy it. Anybody that's been into anime for a while, even if you did enjoy the show a lot at the start, I did. I fucking loved Attack on Titan for a long time. But like everybody seems to have sort of, they either fell out earlier or they sort of, they stuck with it all the way until the ending or let it be really fucking annoyed because nobody, nobody enjoys an ending that sort of diminishes the whole journey to get there. Oh, God. So yeah. uh, it's so annoying, right? And stuff like that. I I personally fell that? out of favor. They, yeah, they yeah. did that. I personally fell yeah. out of favor with the Attack on Titan the moment they revealed the MacGuffin of the basement because, you know, that's like the big thing. It was like, oh, we got it. What's with the basement? Why do we got to go to the basement? Why do we got to go to the basement? That's like, oh, shit. Hold on. There's a whole fucking society outside and we're there's so much other shit. There's a whole different world. This is just a fucking tiny thing and the reason for why we're not exploring and shit like that and why everybody's here and why the titans and what that happens and that's this is such a huge reveal and i'm just like that is kind of bullshit though right it, like, it totally that. ruined the macguffin <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, oh. anyways uh yeah they i i yeah i thought the show jumped the shark a while ago uh I, i'm with you tori on everything you said the i really like how you brought up that People have been, if they were brought into anime for Attack on Titan, that that clearly that's going to level with people a lot more. It's going to have the stain power mm -hmm. and um, can't use the word nostalgia. That's not right for it. But <clears throat> there's a lot I'm mean, not thinking of right how now. How many, when was Attack on Titan first season? Shit, was it 2012? 2012, 2013. Yeah, 2012, 2013, I think. 2013. 
Jesus yeah. Christ. Jesus yeah, Christ. It's it's a a fucking ten years yeah. The joke was uh, Attack on Titan started and finished just in time before Grand Theft Auto 6 came out. <laughs> True. I, I mean, to be fair, the only thing that's being released by Grand Theft Auto 6 so far is the fucking trailer in December. So. Well, <laughs> so it'll take more time. But yeah, that's, it's, it's just... It's an absurd amount of time for an anime that isn't all all that long comparatively to other like long shonens of of its kind, because there's still Bleach yeah, and One Piece, but, but it, it just isn't it because I don't not I don't read the manga, but isn't it because the manga is a rather slow release? Is it a it's a monthly release, right? Not a weekly. I think it was by started by weekly. I don't know how. It, yeah, I think it started by weekly, hiatus, but I think it I think. slowed down. Yeah. That was how I just do it, yeah. So, I mean, I, like, that sort of stuff makes sense, right? It's like, that's the, that's, the, that's the bad part about fucking adapting ongoing manga. Yes, I understand why they do it, because those are hype right now, but, you know, <laughs> it takes a while before you can finish them. Yeah, there's, there's, I mean, I can't tell you how many anime I've watched, and I go, oh, shit, I can't wait for more, and then it's like, oh, uh, why, you, you know, if it already caught up to the manga, then you're supposed to go buy the manga. And then wait for eventual anime ap- adaptations. So, capitalism, who? Yeah, capitalism. capitalism woo. Don't get me started woo. on capitalism. Yeah, let's blame America's capitalism. Healthcare. I mean, America's healthcare Cal- system. Calico and Calico <laughs> wants to make a new studio as well to bump up even more anime. <laughs> oh boy! Woo, nobody cares. The slavery <laughs> trade is going high, dude. <laughs> Slavery I back. Caraco, Caraco, new studios uh, opening was a long time ago. Caraco has four studios, but they want you to open another one Man. for like the longer series. So who knows? Yay. Maybe Caraco has so many IPs that if Bandai just decided, you know what? Bet. I'm going to do the same. Yeah. And Sunrise get fucked. Well, at former Sunrise. Bandai, Bandai <laughs> Namco Pictures, Animation Pictures. Whatever the run sunrises, we start seeing a tendency for the next years to actually longer multi season anime coming on, just like in the nineties, ladies. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Oh god, I wonder no. if they want to try like nah, instead of like they want to try like the sort of typical streaming stuff where it's just like. New season, new season, new season, probably something like that. Who knows? I like uh, I like the split core that is current being used, right? Uh, I mean, like already yes, already confirmed season two, and then you have a pause of one season, two seasons, and then yeah, yeah, oh yeah, like, like, like it's a se- it's a seasonal yeah, like it's that. a seasonal yeah, core release season break. annually, yeah. Yeah, or yeah, or like they a take season a, a season off, or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I don't mind like, that format. Just like Spy Family, right now, right? Yeah, I've heard yeah, this yeah. one instead of like that month, forty-five, that the same thing. Yeah, forty-five yeah. episodes like, straight. It's like, oh, please, <laughs> no, I like yeah, this. I mean, that can be a. Little, it it depends. The biggest problem with that is the fact that the quality never holds up on those things. Um, the thing that sort of, but I, yeah, I definitely prefer like the the split core thing as opposed to like you know getting season one and then no word and then fucking ten years later it's like season two. You know, it's like <laughs> contact wow. collection. Let's go. Contact collection, uh, the devil's a part timer. The again. devil's a part timer. <laughs> the worst part of the, the elite season was is so the bad. Yeah. Worst part of the fucking the devil's a part timer is that the fucking second season is so bad. <laughs> you took 10 years to adapt, like the worst part of the fucking. Okay, you know what? Sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> are, you, are you over it? <laughs> no, I'm not over it. Yeah, but I'm over it. Not. I gave up the show. I'm like, I'm not. No. Yeah. But you ultimate- lost me a long time ago. The first season was good. I don't care about anything else. <laughs> but ultimately, uh Attack on Titan, I'm throwing in with that pot of anime where it started out with like super hype. It's real like so many people liked it. It's real good. It's objectively good in my opinion. It's in that pot of Sword Art Online, Death Note, those anime. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's that's what it's in in, yeah. in there with me. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely see like that Attack on Titan getting essentially cult status. Like it's very popular with a certain crowd. Well, it's hard. It's hard mm. to make cult status when it was a phenomenon there for a while. 
I know, I know, but I feel like as time goes on, I feel as like, like so as like twenty, drop. thirty I'll, years I'll... pass, and we're we're in our fifties and sixties yeah. going. Uh, hmm. Man, Attack on Titan! What a cult hit that used to be. <laughs> That no, nah, I'm fucking. We're we're gonna be sitting here. We're gonna be sitting here like we're gonna be in the fucking year 2050, and we're gonna have like the fucking retro podcasters of that time going like the hidden gem, Attack on Titan, Attack on Titan from 30 Hell years yeah, ago. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Helling yeah, man. Dude, that, that show, that show slept on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just oh, like God. just like us with Future Boy Conan and like Rosa Versailles. And, oh man! Oh, yeah, it's like, those shows are pretty slept. I was like, those were some of the biggest shows of their time, my man. But we never called it. We never <laughs> called it like underrated. They were clearly like extremely influential and popular, or just I don't plain know what you're talking about. Dude. Extremely underrated, not enough appreciated. Kids don't know what good storytelling is. Like I, I don't know. Astro Boy, about, I agree. <laughs> Astro Who has classic. heard of that? <laughs> classic, classic underrated <laughs> anime. Heard of those episodes Astro Boy. Can't see. <laughs> yep. I mean, yeah. Don't even get I me guess. started on Speed Racer, hidden gem. <laughs> Did we know how popular those were? <laughs> uh, I mean, Speed Racer was extremely popular in the West. I know that much. <laughs> the dog yeah. one was super, <laughs> super famous. Yeah. Yeah, right, but we recognized it Canada, as yeah. famous. We just hadn't seen it or really heard of it. <laughs> well, I hadn't anyways. Mm-hmm. I got it, Bushy Gin. Yeah, I mean, that's... I think that surpassed as our number one show, like, ever. As it should. Hell yeah. yeah. I think that that we have to watch weed. That show is golden <laughs> to it. Here, let me check real quick. I got it. The dogs have a special text, dude. They have tragic no. backstories. Yeah, it is. It is our most <laughs> downloaded anime episode of all time. Is Giga Naga again? Everyone, spam JD on Twitter. To demand weed. We yeah. need weed. Not not uh, the drug. The, the show. Stain, Stainless A Night is now number two. <laughs> of course it is. Because it <laughs> degenerates. Yeah, the Classic. fucking birch tree episode. <laughs> Uh, Excel I mean, Saga's listen, number even, three. Even as far as hentai, even as far as hentai gas go, that was special. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll then I'll have to like download a whole Excel file of all the data. But um, yeah, hell no. So uh, Ginga Negoboroboshi Negobor- is number one. Excel Saga oh, two. Oh, I'm sorry, Stainless Night two. Excel Saga three. And just to show you the difference, and th- this is um, I'd have to look at all the data from uh the previous podcast host site that i have saved but uh ginga has 4940 downloads stainless knight has 2220 hell yeah so that's the difference between one and two and then i have to look at the mm-hmm. past data but i i, I believe um was i what was it inuyasha or sailor moon episode that was in the 4,500s? Something like that. Anyways, the point is Ginga's number one mm. now. Yes. It's the best show of all time as well, so you know. <clears throat> that is true. Yeah. So that was episode 121. Here we are uh, years later at this point uh, on episode 159. So hooray. Hey. Okay. Shall we uh, start reviewing some Claymore? I yeah. think we shall. I think we shall. Here we go. Drop time. Go speed racer. Go speed racer. Go speed racer. Go. Claymore. Tori's pick. You want to give us a little introduction and everything over this fucking show? I can give us a little bit of synopsis and stuff like that. So yeah. Claymore. It's a 26 episode anime from 2007. Spring 2007. Produced by Studio Madhouse. Action, adventure, adventure, fantasy with themes of gore. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely people, gory. People do get sliced up a lot. <laughs> people do get sliced up a lot. Lots of limb chopping. Uh, lots of limb chopping. We don't see it's entrails really getting thrown by... around, though. No, but people no, are made of a lot of people are made of sausages. They just are so easy to cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they, nice and, nice no and clean cuts well. all the time. No bones sticking out ever. 
No, it's just the images made of oh. sausages. Just... All right. So it was directed by Hiroyuki Tanaka. And, uh, you know, he has done, among other things, directorial work for Attack on Titan. Oh. Season one, season two, season three, season three, part Heard two. Of that show. Episode directing. <laughs> yeah, episode directing, of Makes course. sense. He did, he did episode direction on Helsing Ultimate as well. Oh. Uh, Heard of that one, too. Episode directing, I see. Yeah. Basically, a lot of episode directing. Does so he's into the swords director? and gore. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. But not much, like, main directorial work. And I guess that makes sense when you look at... Uh, Claymore as well. It's, I enjoy the show, but I wouldn't say it's the best directed show in the world. Uh, but it's nice. It's fine. But yeah. Madhouse right. Spring 07. Good shit. Madhouse Spring 07. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Mm. The synopsis for Claymore from Mal. Oh, Mal? Like You're doing a Mal a synopsis? What? Dude, of course, Mal synopsis are the best. Man. When a shape-shifting demon with a thirst for human flesh, known as Yoma, arrives in Naraki's village, a lone woman with silver eyes walks into town with only a sword upon her back. She is a Kuremoa, a claymore, <laughs> a being manufactured as half-human and half-Yoma, for the express purpose of exterminating these monsters. After Raki's family is killed, the claymore saves his life, but he is subsequently banished from his home. With nowhere else to go, Raki finds the Claymore, known as Claire, and decides to follow her on her journeys. As the pair travel from town to town, defeating Yoma along the way, more about Claire's organization and her fellow warriors come to light. With every town cleansed and every demon destroyed, uh, sure, they come closer to the Yoma on which Claire has sought vengeance ever since she chose to become a Claymore. Okay, I hate these Mal Ooh. synopses because it's always <laughs> like episode one synopsis and then it's just a sentence mm. maybe after that <laughs> that's very loose yep. <laughs> so <clears throat> i'm gonna read you the better synopsis because it's not from mal you ready for this ever oh yeah i'm gonna read the the dvd the japanese dvd release <laughs> the, uh, synopsis the i wasn't gonna work on my the japanese today but hickey do you want to one up <laughs> one up what i was gonna do no you got I, that? no no i don't wanna, i don't want to i don't <laughs> want you to read you, in japanese please no no you read it Oh, no, I'm not going to read that shit. No, you don't, I don't have you don't, that. <laughs> I don't think you can find that. You don't want to hurt my ego and just uh, just be like, no, J.D., you have this. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Now, J.D., come on. Every single name in this anime is, like, Western. Like, yeah, it's awesome. You I cannot fuck can, this up. I can't fuck it up. No, I can't. Uh, the guy who speaks multiple <laughs> languages constantly fucks up names. I got it. Uh, a brutal scourge stalks the land. Yoma, monsters driven by a hunger satisfied by only one quarry. Humanity. The dark breed known knows but a singular foe, Claymore. Human Yoma hybrids of extraordinary strength and cunning. The Claymores roam from skirmish to skirmish, delivering salvation by the edge of a blade. Thus begins the twist and tale of Claire. One such sister of the sword, driven by pain in both victory and defeat. A child silent and suffering hidden in her past, Claire's march towards vengeance unfolds along a path marked by violence solitude and scorn in a land where even the predators prey the haunted hearts of hunter and hunted alike where the scars of the age okay that's also a bad uh i was about to say like, that said absolutely nothing that's actually some <laughs> like, fun, that, fun that animation that synopsis it's, told it, us nothing about it, the show yeah it's more like a trailer to try to sell us on the product <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hickey. Action, you got violence, <laughs> blood. Yeah, it's got it all. You want to watch Claymore? <laughs> Claymore. All right, so uh, Claire is a half Yoma, half uh, human breed. She's a fighter. She's sent out by an organization to. This is my own uh, synopsis now. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm doing this. She's sent out by an org organization with a very uh, hazy past and motivations. Dun dun dun. Uh, to go on missions to fight other Yoma. Uh, you think at first that's the only reason. And the crux to this half uh, Yoma, uh, half human hybrid th thing that they got going on is if they rely too much on their uh, demon powers, they uh, awaken and become a demon themselves. And thus they must get uh, executed either before it or then 
other claymore sent out on missions to uh, beat them. And while yes. Claire is this on is, her little journey, she meets Rocky. This is the OG Attack on Titan. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It really is. <laughs> Pretty much. So that's uh, that's the better synopsis. It's a monster. It's more or less a monster of the week deal. Uh, as the series goes on, you get more mul- uh, multiple uh, episodes that run together, uh, like mini arcs, if you will. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, you find out Claire attack is like on Yoma. Yeah, yeah, attack on Yoma. Yeah, find out Claire is like the weakest of them all. They tell her she's like actually a twenty five percent. Yoma, um, sure, I guess. Not sure why that I mean, separates her get... from anyone else. <sighs> Come on, man. Yeah. You know, you, you, she only you got weak. some of the powers. <laughs> you, you, she only got some of the powers. She doesn't. You don't just suddenly become good at fighting. You know, you got to you got to practice that shit. And she kind of sucks at it. That's what it is. Why does she suck if she has the girl. same training and everything? Why is she so bad? <laughs> she was just because a she's. I like the it is, uh, not yeah. a, the actual Yoma. But I don't, I don't, I never got like why she was exactly a quarter. Did I miss? Because did I miss some like? Teresa, Teresa yeah. was half human and half demon. Claire's oh yes, humans, of course, because so. yeah, because yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So they'd get full demon flesh into them, and she only got yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't, they don't do get on human. Do you remember? Do you remember the, the beings, the the evolution thing, right. phenotypes? Let's go, yeah. Yeah, which is twenty five. Right. Explain on the show. <laughs> yeah, I just I was just like in a haze. Look, man, I've been sick for a week. <laughs> but like, it's only enough, but technically, enough. yeah, technically, it's like we don't know if that's true because it's the, organ- the organization tells you that. But Claire is a special, so yeah. you they know could, they could be is. totally full of shit on it. Ob- yeah, they are. <laughs> they are. They're full of shit on like everything. They sure is full of shit on everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's why we love it. <laughs> it's not. It's not a. It's certainly not a bad monster of the week show for sure. It's. Uh, it's got motivation. It's got um, a clear path ahead and a goal. Uh, love. What. Mm. What. What turned the series around for me because I was like, okay, this show's okay. I like it a little bit. It was all right. And where it turned around for me was when they did the um, backstory of Claire episode when they're when yes. we're following this character named Teresa around. And I was like, oh okay, who's this woman? I didn't know it was a, a backdrop until later. Um mm-hmm. when you so, when they meet when she meets the little girl it's like her name's Claire I, I call you Claire. And I was like, oh <laughs> is that her? I assume that's her. Oh yeah, it's definitely her. And you, yeah, the whole Teresa background mm-hmm. where she's super strong. She was the former number one. Um she decides Claire's essentially an adopted daughter figure uh, and she uh, what happens with Teresa is she wants to leave Claire in a village she kills Ioma, says hey live here bandits are in the mountainsides they have an, a, an experience with them you learn a little bit about rules within the organization and how they operate maybe uh, maybe it's too black and white <laughs> Uh, between <laughs> yeah, so the yeah, bandits raid I the mean, village. She goes back, kills the bandits. Can't do that. Claymores are not allowed to kill humans, and thus Teresa becomes an outlaw. And she sent organization sends other claymores to behead behead her. And due to events, one of them two to five. Yeah, one of them becomes an awakened, uh, being a super demon, if you will, and uh, Priscilla. Yeah, murders everyone, including Teresa. Uh, uh, yeah, we're speed running through a lot of this, but uh, it sets up more yeah. of our discussion. I mean, that's basically speed running the uh, like the three episode flashback. Uh, yeah, flashback and, part. and it's but, I mean, we're not even like, at the halfway I, point of the I show. I definitely agree with you, JD. Point. Yeah, I definitely agree with you, JD. I think that is the from what is adapted in the anime. I think that is the strongest part of this, just because like the entire way. The entire way things are handled, like even watching it again the second time, knowing everything, like knowing that the Teresa is eventually going to get killed and like how it happens and what that, it's still, I still feel myself sitting there like feeling that like excitement in, this, in my stomach, like bubbling up when we're getting to that part because like the build up and the whatnot is really good. Like even if it is, even if you do suspect that it's going to happen, it's like, I mean, obviously you can't have such a powerful character just stay alive. 
<laughs> I mean, for fuck's sakes, she never at any point had to actually use her power more than a little bit. <laughs> so right. it kind of makes sense. Mm-hmm. But it's like, um, it's like the way that it all builds up and whatnot, it's just like, then we finally get there and it's like, oh shit. And then we fucking move on. We le- we then take that on board to learning how like Claire actually got her power, learning more about Claire herself as a Claymore, you know, like how she's like, oh, she's super strong. Actually, not at all. She is the weakest. Yeah, I really, Literally I really liked how the show. The, uh... Yeah, because you're you're given the idea that she's super strong, and then just all of a sudden, the show does a really good job of establishing how much she still has to grow and get to a point. So mm-hmm. the the almost a, it's almost a reset on your expectations and character, yeah. and it revives. That's why this this like backdrop and then how they immediately follow that up was so important and inf- and effective for how easy it was to watch i i guess the last like 70% of the show 60% if we're being if i'm being generous yeah. with that mm. it, it was handled extremely well uh, that that was a huge turnaround yeah. i didn't think it got too weird the motivation between finding the awakened being the super demon that killed teresa is a excellent motivation it's very simple as well uh Yep, and then sadly we get the fucking ending, which is filler. Yes, filler. Uh, it, it really <laughs> went uh, space battleship Yamato on us in a way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I mean, I'm pretty like, sure they one just of my knew favorite... they weren't going to get another season, so they just like ah fuck, we need to we need to come up with an ending, and then that was the best they could do. Yeah, and that yeah. didn't it's that didn't really upset me too much because it's like okay, I don't have to watch this now. There, I know there's not another season. It never finished in the first place, mm. so you know I could understand. Even as a fan, I'm just like okay, it doesn't matter. This episode doesn't matter. I can't really be upset with the animators just going eh, punt it. Why waste our effort and time? Just put something out and call it a day. Uh, but as for like the arc finishing and kind of a cliffhanger, I mean, I think it did pretty damn good for what they for the time that they had with the show. And it I mean, the show was good. The show was good. It was very solid. If you were really interested in finishing it, uh, clearly the industry didn't uh, read the manga. Mm-hmm. then. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's all understand. all the backstory yeah. about the other the other awakened claymores because that is also a thing. So mm. You start with the absolute the organization knows everything, and then you you have the usual trope of the organization might be actually you know lying to us, and then you have the problem no problematic the problematic claymores. It was like, okay, we survived this absolutely fucked up job that we had false information a shitload of false information a bunch of people died and we survived what is what is the correlation between all of us we are troublemakers we don't follow orders and we awakened before and came back to being human so it's like oh i guess the the organization's trying to get rid of us because we know too much we know that if you surpass the 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 eighty percent, as they they said, the eighty percent mark of the the Yoma power uh, Yoma power usage, you cannot revert back and you become a Yoma. But a bunch of claimers actually do it, and it can even be induced because you have the the Niv, which is a a claymore Claire saves. She's already awake and she's losing her consciousness. And Claire's like, "No, it's okay. You can come back and become a human again." And she pulls her back from the awakened uh, part, which is like, "Okay, unless you're a dude." (laughs) So, but you can awaken afterwards as well, as we've seen with the the lion dude and the king, the silver king. Right. The names are super cool. The 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 nicknames are super cool. <laughs> there is some of the faint smile. It's just like, oh. They sound like yeah. they sound like Dark Souls bosses. Oh, yeah, you're right. They <laughs> do. <Kind> of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, now that you say it out loud. They really do. Yeah, and when it comes to they don't do it all the time, but it, when it comes to important like awakened bean fights in the last two thirds of the show. 
generally they show us a sh- uh, an encounter and a short reasoning on why these ex claymore become awakened beings, and it doesn't take as much as much as you think it does. There's uh, they just get pissed <laughs> off, uh, they lose their humanity. Uh, look, early in the show, they describe um, the reasoning is, and this this really bothered me throughout the show is. A claymore becomes an awakened being when they like can't suppress their sex their sexual motivations, and that's why men were so incompatible with becoming claymore. And I'm like, okay, when I first heard it, I go, that makes total sense. But then, as the show goes on, one after another, it's just, well, usually it's because the claymores end up the women use their powers too much, or they get too injured. And they have to use their power, or they're forced into it, or really just an emotional breakdown. It has like it, it doesn't have that much to do with sexuality. And I was like, okay, maybe uh, for the men sounds, it involves that like a sexuality. weird translation. You think it's no, a translation like issue a with the dub I was watching? Yeah, because the the on the sub, what they're specifically talking about is the act of awakening is akin to that of sex to that of like sexual pleasure. Like it's a feeling similar. And then the moment you the moment you let that take over, you can't go back, or you don't want to go back, because it's like you're you're letting your fucking you're letting that you're letting that feeling of like pleasure and power just overwhelm you. Oh, you maybe don't want to go back. maybe I just took it too literal then, because that uh, I, I do yeah. remember re like the the dub did say that I do remember that vividly, but. Yeah, no, they do. They do specifically mention yeah. like mention sexuality, but it's, it's like it's in the sense like it's a feeling. Like they describe it as like it's a feeling akin to sexual pleasure. Not okay. That's a very that's like, a very oh, key word horny. to focus on. It's just akin to it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All it's right. just me and it's not. It's literal. just me and Hickey that's joking about it. About it with it was just me and Hickey that was joking about it with like the sexual pleasure, like you know, awakening, being post nut clarity and whatnot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. All right. So I was just taking it too literal. I should. Okay. That that's um that makes it better. It does. That uh, gives me clarity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like that part because I like that because it sort of it put into a perspective because like we have a bunch of fighters, right, that are fighting Yoma, but they're all women. And most of us would probably immediately be like, why wouldn't you have men? Wouldn't men be better fighters? And for a long time or for a while, they don't really address it until they suddenly go like, oh, yeah, no, we did try with men. It's just that men are a lot worse at suppressing their powers because the moment they start releasing it, they want more. They're greedier. So, yeah, they they awaken mm. faster. <laughs> so we were like, we kind of just abolished the fucking the like man side of things. Yeah, it was, it was a very simple explanation that was extremely effective for the lore yeah. of the show. Who well. knows? <laughs> yeah, is, no it, is, it, is no it really teams. true? Is it like, do you have to totally give up on the men? Maybe not, but I mean, it was, there are a lot of good a lot of awakened men, so you know we have to assume we have to assume that they're probably still creating some of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, and yeah, what's absolutely. stopping a man from like going out and in a desperate situation, like eating demon flesh or something, and them becoming a claymore themselves? And yeah, I mean, there's a I, there's other ways around it. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, well, the main antagonist is a man. Yeah. Yep. There's quite a few uh, bad dudes in this world. <laughs> yeah. No, it's okay. It, okay it's nice to see. One thing interesting about Claymore is just that everything is just set up by the eyes of organiz- the organization and Claire. And Claire doesn't give a shit about anything that's happening around her. <laughs> because the only thing she, she does is like, I need to kill that bitch of Priscilla. Did you get revenge? You've been like, fuck this little boy, but that's beyond the point. Uh, that the world start crumbling around you. The the set of rules used by the organization to set this world up, upon starts to kind of break off and break apart. Uh, Claire awakens and comes back, reverts. Then you have the number four. There's like Ophelia, her name is. <clears throat> that she absolutely hate awakened beings. And right after Claire discovers there, there are other Claymores that awaken. And they're like, okay, we're, we're going to be a, our secret society and, and stuff. She gets paired with Ophelia and Ophelia fights with Claire, also awakens. And after she's already awakened, she kind of like 
maintains her sanity. She doesn't uh, like become a, a beast or whatever. So the, the world little by little go crumbling, crumbling, crumbling. Then you go to the northern, the northern territory wars. And it's like, oh, I thought all those awakened beings and whatever, they are just beasts, but they are organized. They are working on a military, militaristically style of operation and organization with a clear state of the uh, chain of command. So the rules at the beginning of the anime kind of like slowly rolled through all the series and that's really cool to watch. It's like just like you just like the, the characters in the series, you kind of start to get your eyes clean from the lies of the organization. Maybe that was something the author decided it was on purpose. I don't think it is. I think it's just a side product of how the story is written accidentally but mm -hmm. it's still very cool to pay attention to that <clears throat> you go from a state of clarity to a state of then a fabricated lie that is the beginning of the series which is really cool i, I think it's really cool except the, the last yeah. three episodes that is a fabricated lie yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that is a fabricated lie but yeah but it's okay. It's a, it's a good ending. I still prefer the, the manga. Definitely read the manga because it is when when I say like when we we talk about oh this is kind of like Attack on Titan. It, it it kind of is. There is a wall. There is giants. It becomes really bonkers. <laughs> this effect of the reality just becoming dust in front of you is potentialized by everything that happens after the anime and this ends. Which is kind of sad, never became a second season because you, you could definitely finish Claymore in 12 more episodes. Mm. Yeah, it wouldn't take that much to probably finish the series. So in perspective of how popular this is, if you go to my anime list, it has... Uh, it's, it's, in, it's within the top 300 in popularity with 660,000 yeah, like members. So it's, it's, it's up there. Uh, and for a show from 2007 <clears throat> that isn't like a Death Note or something <clears throat> of that era, that's 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 a good decent amount of people that know mm -hmm. and have seen. Nah, this like yet. it was, it was it was very popular, and you know it also had a lot of benefit of like early like YouTube and whatnot, anime YouTube, where it was like people were pushing the show a lot, especially oh, were they? with the introduction of Attack on Titan. Yeah, with the introduction of Attack on Titan. A lot of people were pushing people off to Claymore as like, you know, if you like Attack on Titan, you should watch Claymore. I see. Funny, <laughs> kind of yeah, funny that how that sense. worked out. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like, Claymore is definitely one of those shows that, like, I wouldn't mind seeing someone try to pick this up again to finish it. Like, just see it like a modern adaptation. Yeah. But, like, I, just that'd, like be, that'd be cool to see. Netflix, just like they did with the with that other one. <laughs> I was just about to say, like, this feels like it's within Netflix fucking uh, <laughs> eyes, you know? Right. Their, their style yeah. shows. They like, oh, they speaking like their darker of, violent speaking shows. Speaking of Netflix, <laughs> Pluto just came out on Netflix. Yeah, I, know. I need to watch that. Yeah, I need to watch that. Watch that. I, I meant to start that the other day, but I had to finish Claymore. <laughs> ah, I mean, okay, yes. that, that's fair. Any <laughs> notes? At least it wasn't the completely wasted time until the last few episodes, but. Where? The OST is really good, but the usage of the OST is absolutely annoying. Like nothing yeah. is happening, and you're just gonna have this really obnoxious metal. The the, the music is not obnoxious, but the uses mm. people are just having a conversation, and you're just gonna have like this metal song in the back, like this power metal playing <laughs> in the back. But there's nothing happening. They're just talking about I don't know, like. They're eating breakfast, and there's just going to be a hard, like, <laughs> hard rock music playing. And a lot of yeah. times, it would be confusing it, if I had a video or something playing on the background that I kind of forgot about or started uh, <laughs> randomly. Because like, there's no way this OST is playing during like I don't know. They're explaining something, and you're just going to have a battle OST. I was like, ah, oh, maybe YouTube start playing a. a music video or something and then i'll just look around I was like oh no that is actually the episode that is a very not good way of using the ost 
<laughs> There's a lot of technical issues with Claymore, not even just amusement. Like sound effect work in this show is terrible. Cool, 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 it's cool. it's really bad, yeah. Yeah. It's not it Berserk two thousand <laughs> Berserk two thousand sixteen <laughs> level, but it's kind no, of No it is fun. not, but that's yeah, that, that's kaplunk, not, kaplunk. you know everything it's not a lot nothing, is, nothing is sharp. There's no sharp sounds. Yeah. Everything is dull. Uh, a lot of the times as well, like same thing, stuff getting destroyed, no matter what it is, everything that gets destroyed has the exact same impact sound effect. Like it doesn't matter if it's wood or stone or metal, it's like, okay, I guess just everything's exploding. Yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> uh, so it's like, there's a lot of, like, it's definitely, you know, I, I definitely understand why they pr probably were like, ah, this is only getting one season. They were probably working with very limited resources and were like, ah. People are really going to like this, anyways. Like it, it's just, it's just a low effort production, and then people liked it, and they're like, "Well, fuck, <laughs> shit." Buy the manga. <laughs> Buy the manga, yes. Uh, but yeah, nah, nah. Like I mean, there's claim. I like Claymore. There's a lot of good to Claymore production wise. There's there's issues. Like animation isn't great. A lot of the fighting is like it's more silly than anything. Like, anything else, like just like quick drawings of like arms flailing around not even it's just like yeah it's just lines and shit going around lots of weird like clink 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 like uh -huh. mm -hmm. yep cool we're fighting yep mm -hmm. 100 percent. but every once in a while they do pull out like you know i have to say realistic fight because it isn't realistic but like at least more believable like ah i'm going in for an attack jump slash <laughs> uh the, the the trust of it, well, the trusty. How is jump slash? Jump slash. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ichigo would be proud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. But yeah, nah. Sound effect work. Sound effect work and general effects work in production. So um, I'm going to be nice and say it's very off its time. <laughs> oh, for sure. Like. <clears throat> <laughs> this this you you said this earlier but this is definitely a show that should and could be picked up for a conceivable remake and to finish the series and it would do the show a lot of justice mm. and i think it, i think it'd be worth it i think it's one of those few that uh you know unlike say car no kyokai which we recently reviewed the <clears throat> like that show still holds up very well uh, not really much you can do unless you just straight up finish the, I, well, I guess it was finished. Um, but like so <laughs> much production values in Claymore are so just low rent and low end that the slightest upgrade would do it tre a tremendous <laughs> job in making it just that much better. Yeah. For all the stuff that they keep bringing back that absolutely doesn't need to come back again, this is one that it, it doesn't strictly need it. It's not the, the show that needs it the most, but it would be nice. It would be cool, yeah. It would be nice. Yeah. Hyper, hyper gore, hyper sexualized Netflix show? <laughs> that would be super cool. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, they could do a lot more with it in 2023 than they, they can. Could in they can draw actual, actual bones inside of the. Yeah. The yeah. limbs. Not yeah. every character would end up looking the same, hopefully. <laughs> Oh, that, that's that's, that's also like manga. That's a manga problem. Yeah, yeah that's a manga problem. Like you can actually tell people apart in this show, even people. though. <laughs> yeah, you can tell them apart in the show, even though they all look like they're based on the exact same thing. They just have different hair. But when you look at the manga, there are certain section in the sections in the manga where the author drew like he likes this like really like light drawing style, where it's like everything looks really faded. He really likes that, and when does he does he? that okay. shit, Makes sense. and he swaps from yeah, when he swaps from character to character, you can't tell who anyone is. It doesn't matter if it's clear, if it's Araki, if it's anyone else. It's like who the fuck is this? Especially from behind, who am I fucking, whenever who you am get I a back looking? shot, <laughs> yeah. you're just like, I don't know who that is until they until the camera switches to the front. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like that could be anyone. <laughs> so but yeah, nah, that's just that's just an art style problem. That's how that's how it is. That's how the author drew them. That's the original original style. Yeah, so cool show. Uh, cool story. Well done in, in quite a few aspects. Uh, I'm ready to score this. But 
Uh, this might be, sound a little harsh, but there are a lot of drawbacks to the show. It doesn't finish, <laughs> for one thing. Um, yeah. Yeah, even even the season doesn't finish, so to say. We want to call it that. <laughs> Uh, it does. It yep. does lack a lot of things. So uh, this is a very good seven out of ten for me. Mm, seven out of ten. Yeah, uh, I definitely can get behind that. When I watched this originally, I really liked it. I did not like the ending, uh, not one bit. But no. I ended up giving it an eight because I was like, I, I could manage to convince myself that I was like, ah, but all the good stuff was so good that I liked it so much that like I'm not gonna. That's true. I'm not gonna let the ending ruin it for me. And then when I watched it now, I'm more like, I'm a little bit sour, more sour. But it is still, I still feel like a lot of the stuff that I liked back then still holds up now. I still feel like it's just well done. So it's like, I still think it's a good show. It's not amazing. So I also ended up lowering my score to seven. But like, oh, hey, all right. Again, <laughs> that is mostly because of a, that is mostly because of the ending. Like the ending is, <sighs> the, the ending is just not it. So, like, but everything else other than that, like, yeah, 100%. Like, you should fucking watch, watch all of this. Drop, like, the last two and a half episodes, roughly, <laughs> and then just go pick up the manga from there. Like, I promise, it, it, is, a, it is a good time. Yeah, finish episode 24, time. and then just call it a day. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll keep my... So I'm just gonna keep my original score seven as well. Hey, seven, seven, seven. <laughs> yeah, there. I, I agree mostly of what Tori said, but there's also a few problems in the writing that shows up in the in the end. There, uh, author didn't do a really good redemption story for anyone, and so it kind of comes off as, as Raki being a kind of annoying character. It's not the point of Rocky, but you know him being very close to Priscilla, the new Priscilla, and then uh, Claire, and him being like, "Oh no, don't kill anyone! You guys need to stop fighting." Woo. Again, not a very <laughs> good uh, redemption, like double redemption arc, as they try to do. It it is what it is. Sometimes it pans out, sometimes sometimes it doesn't. It it doesn't in the series. It does not in the manga. It would be easier if Claire was just very, very certain of what she should do and kill Priscilla, for example, uh, at that moment in time, or at least like fatally wound her or like take an arm at least. And then you have like a fight against a one arm Priscilla at the end, something like that. But it's okay. Uh, OST is really good. The usage of it, it isn't. There are problems with animation, but. It is a good show. At the end of the day, I do believe this is a show that should be watched because it's fun. And there, that's usually sometimes, most of the time, is what you need in an anime. The anime being fun. Not super philosophical, not super sexualized, just a simplistic yet effective story being told to the best they could in 2007 with... I don't know, maybe a paperclip and some rations, some expired army rations to survive in the hell of the, the animation industry. There was 2007, re the recuperation of the Japanese economy. God, that was a time. Just a lot of, a lot of good anime came out in 2007, but man, that, that was hell. <laughs> <laughs> mm, they had to do something. <laughs> Uh, Someone should yeah, carry the economy. Clarity. <laughs> yeah. And post no clarity. That also probably helped with this. Uh, I, I, do, do, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to think of all that. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, so triple sevens. Our next episode yeah. is going to be, let's see, I think it's your pick, Hickey. It is. We're going to suffer. Let's go. We're watching oh, Rosen yeah. Maiden. Yeah. The battle oh. the battle Shonen question mark with porcelain dolls. Yeah, this has a lot the of like Dutch bell, and German in it, doesn't it? Like with all the, the names. Bell, but with yeah, it's just Gash Bell but used porcelain dolls. Oh boy. Alright. I see. I guess this is like a Chobits <laughs> type shit. <laughs> nah. You no. cannot I mean you can 
That, never mind. I'm just gonna just gonna shut no? up. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna stop no, talking. Stop talking. <laughs> All right. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, totally understood what I was going to say. So I'm just gonna stop right here. Okay. So that does it for this episode. Look forward to the next one. See you, everybody. Peace. Goodbye.